Peace to everybody. This is a breaking news. Eddie Money, two tickets to Paradise Singer dies at 70. And as you can see here in the screenshot is Eddie Money himself. Eddie Money is a prolific singer and songwriter whose songs, Baby Hold On, Two Tickets to Paradise, Shaken, and Take Me Home Tonight, soundtracked popular music in the 1980s, died Friday. He was 70. So Eddie, Eddie Money was 70 years old when he passed away this morning. Um, he had um, songs, Baby Hold On, Two Tickets to Paradise, Shake It and Take Me Home Tonight. A statement provided by his family reads, The Money family regrets to announce that Eddie passed away peacefully early this morning. It is with heavy hearts that we say goodbye to our loving husband and father. We cannot imagine our world without him. We are grateful that he will live on forever through his music. So there was a statement that was provided by his family. They read the Money family regrets to announce that Eddie passed away peacefully early this morning. And um, of course, you know, my heart goes out to them, to the Money family. And he was a loving husband and father. Money recently revealed that he had been diagnosed with stage 4 esophageal cancer. So he was um, diagnosed with stage 4 esophageal cancer. I'm sorry. If you don't know what that is, it's um, your esophagus. And that's what he was diagnosed mm -hmm. with. A reality te television series about money and his family, Real Money, had aired on AXS TV starting in April 2018. It chronicled his life at home, on the road, and with his family as well as his health struggles. They had a reality show and it was called um, Real Money. It had aired on AXX TV starting in April 2018 so it's been on for over a year down there um, of course it was about his life at home and on the road as well as his health struggles money made his home in the Bay Area in the 1970s where he performed at the city's clubs regularly a star of MTV's formative years he saw major chart success with such songs as Baby Hold On and Two Tickets to Paradise and in 1986 Take Me Home Tonight, a duet with Ronnie Spector, his biggest radio hit. He was signed to Columbia Records and released 11 albums throughout his career, starting with his self-titled debut in 1977, which saw three songs chart Baby, hold on. Two tickets to paradise, and you've really got a hold on me. The money did make his home at, in the Bay Area, and it was in the 1970s um, where he performed at the city's clubs regularly, and he was a star of MTV's, MTV's formative years. His songs were Baby, Hold On, Two Tickets to Paradise, and in 1986, Take Me Home Tonight is and it was a duet with Ronnie Spector, his big, biggest radio hit. Um, he signed with Columbia Records and released 11 albums during that time. Also, um, he had a self-titled debut in 1977. And the songs chart, Baby, Hold On, Two Tickets to Paradise, and You've Really Got a Hold On Me. Born Edward Joseph Mahoney in Brooklyn, New York, Money, who grew up on Long Island, originally started out in law enforcement. His father's profession, spending two years as a New York City police officer before deciding to try music in Berkeley, California. Following his move out west, he palled around with local musicians of the San Francisco club scene, which led him to legendary promoter Bill Graham, whom Money met in 1976. Graham 
would become Money's manager, helping him achieve multi-platinum album sales in the 1980s. So, Eddie Money was born Edward Joseph Mahoney, and of course he was in Brooklyn, New York, grew up in there, um, and he, but he grew up in Long Island. Um, he also st um, started out in law enforcement, um, his father's profession, spending two years as a New York City police officer before he decided to try music. So he had a pretty good life. Um, in Berkeley, California, following his move out west, he palled around with local musicians. And of course, he met Bill Graham, who Money met in 1976. Graham would become Money's manager, helping him achieve multi-platinum album sales in the 1980s. Money's arsenal of hits include 1978's Baby Hold On and Two Tickets to Paradise, followed by Maybe I'm a Fool the following year, Think I'm in Love and Sh Shaken. Take Me Home Tonight in 1986, which reached to number four, and Walk on Water in 1988. So he had a lot of songs that reached here and there, but not, there was, but Take Me Home Tonight was at number four when he reached that one, and that was during, in 1986. And of, of course, there's other songs Two Tickets to Paradise, followed by Maybe I'm a Fool, the following year. And of course, you know, all the other music he has. During that decade plus, money also descended into drug and alcohol abuse, nearly dying of an overdose that left him unable to walk for a year. So he was into drugs and alcohol for over a year and of course it um made him uh, um impossible for him to walk into it was unable to walk for a year but i do believe now that he had been sober for quite some time i guess and we didn't know about it eventually working his way back to performing live money was featured on a 2016 episode of Oprah, where are they now? That led to the series Real Money, which debuted on AXS TV in 2018 and was on its second season. So he appeared on Oprah as um, the um, show called Where Are They Now? It led to his series of Real Money, which debuted on AXS TV in 2018 and it was going on its second season. Occasionally money was also the subject of controversy. Most recently and not of his doing music industry pundit Bob Lefsetz took issue with the crack money made during a talk at the Grammy Museum in Los Angeles calling it anti-Semitic. As Money explained to Rolling Stone, I said my wife always looks like a million bucks and she spends so much money on clothes and I hate it. It's the Jew in me and when I said that, because my mother is Jewish, Bob didn't realize that and mentioned it. He thought I was Irish, Catholic, Polish or German or something and all of a sudden, he said it was anti-Semitic. It was a misunderstanding, and I thought it was a funny joke because I got Jewish blood in me. So Eddie Money came out, and of course he talked about the things that he talked about. And of course, more recently, it was about um, his wife spending a lot of money and of course you know us women we go shopping like crazy we can't help that but um he was making a joke about his wife spending a lot of money and that he hated it um he said 
it's the Jew in me. And when I said that, because my mother is Jewish, Bob didn't realize that and mentioned it. He thought I was Irish Catholic, Polish or German or something, and all of a sudden he said it was anti-Semitic. It was a misunderstanding, and I thought it was a funny joke because I got Jewish blood in me. So Eddie Money was making a joke. He wasn't literally making fun of anything else. It was just a joke that he was doing. That's all he was. And, of course, Bob took it the wrong way. And, you know, Bob didn't realize that it was a joke about his wife in that. More than anything, Money's music was considered blue-collar at its core, which led him to be featured on The King of Queens in 2002, where he performed a selection of his hits for friend and star Kevin James. So, yeah, so he was he appeared on an episode of The King of Queens <coughs> in 2002, and he performed a selection of his hits for his friend and star mm -hmm. Kevin James. Known also his comedic manner, both in his music videos and his, in interviews. He said last year that despite his string of hit songs, he missed the boat when it to the big money in his typically self depressed manner money kept the conversation with his, with his view the kids aren't in jail they're not in rehab nobody's wrecked the car this week and there's still milk in the refrigerator i'm having a good month so that was yeah um any money was having a good month um he money kept the conversation with his view the kids aren't in jail they're not in rehab and nobody's wrecked the car this week and there's still milk in the refrigerator so he was having a pretty good month that time money is survived by his wife Lori, and five children daughter jesse money and son zachary joseph desmond and Julian. And so he was survived by his wife, Lori, and of course the five children. Um, my heart does go out to the family. May they um, have comfort at this time and ease their pain a little bit, but I know it's not going to be easy because of what happened this morning. Leave your comments below. I am out.